Hi, Tom here, and in this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'll show you one way to draw a background, a manga background, of telegraph poles. So it's sort of drawing that you could put figures and people in the foreground. The first step in this drawing is to draw the first pole. We could start at the top of the pole, because then we are going to know where it fits on the top of our page, on the whole of our page. And then just draw two parallel lines close together going downwards. Next we could draw some wires and a straight wire perhaps going down to the ground at an angle to sort of tether the pole down into the ground. We could add a few marks to represent grass at the ground level. Now we could extend the top wire with a slight curved line going towards the right, a horizontal slight curved line going towards the right. And then draw a second telegraph pole from the place where this wire stops. We could add some double lines around each of the poles. And now we could draw a third pole in the same way as the first two. In this drawing, each of the poles gets shorter. Its top and the base of each of the poles get shorter as it goes towards the middle of the paper that we're drawing on. In that way, they'll look like they're going further away from us without worrying about perspective lines. We could draw some signs attached to the poles. On the left, we could draw a cross, a sign, of a, a sign on a pole made of black and white squares, checkered squares, in a cross shape. We can just make up these shapes, make them into interesting shapes and just add more signs. As this is a pen drawing, I think it's best to finish the things, finish the things that we're drawing as we go along. We can just make up a series of signs on poles, a few circles on the pole, a few rectangles attached to a pole. We could also perhaps draw a fence. I think I'll add a wire fence. The top of the fence is a straight line, more or less straight line, but the base of the fence, the base line of the fence, needs to go towards the middle of the page. And in that way it will look like it's going further away from us. So our vanishing point is sort of in the middle of the page, but we don't need to map it out, we can just sort of imagine it. So the fence will have diagonal lines on it. I think I'll add diagonal lines going the other way too. Let's add a telegraph pole close up to the right. Now a close up pole will be much wider as it is much closer to us. We could add some spikes, they often have those spikes don't they towards the top. I will speed up the rest of the drawing so that you can see how it develops. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, Circle Line Art School, where I post a new video every week.
Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sokolone Art School, to stay up to date with all of the content I create. Keep drawing and see you next time.